Yeah, uh, and two uh, 10k donuts, please. Uh, birthday cake donuts. Sorry, 10k donuts. <laughs> From the humble beginnings of Alton Towers in 2020 to going down the drains underneath the M62 in 2024. Now, this channel last night or this morning when I woke up hit 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers was wow i just didn't even think i'd get this far to be honest with you i started this channel sort of just after the end of lockdown 2020 um now i've never i never said this before but there's a guy i work with and he's responsible actually for this channel believe it or not i'm not going to say your full name i'll just call him marty the biker so i was going out exploring put my stuff on Facebook and he always said to me, you want to get on YouTube? You know, want to start putting your events on YouTube? You, you'll do well and you'll do this, you'll do that. I was like, nah, nah, nah. I mean, every time I seen him, he was like, ah, get on YouTube, you know, put your start putting your sub. Anyway, I did. And the practice was going to Alton Towers when there was no one there just to um, film, you know, around, but, but no, no one there basically. So anyway, uh, fast forward, as I say, 2024 and I've done quite a lot since then quite a lot and you know what i'm absolutely blown away uh, 10,000 subscribers so it calls for celebration and i'm going to have a mcdonald's 50th birthday donut and i know it's not my birthday but may as well kill two birds with one stone around lockdown as well i just started doing like stupid food videos because um, we couldn't really get out much it was always mm, nice you were allowed out for like an hour maybe a couple of hours um, so the channel went from like doing little food videos and originally like I've said in the past it was going to be a theme park channel I was going to Blackpool and Alton Towers quite a lot before and just after it. Uh, restrictions were eased as well. Um, but there were too many people doing that. And although I still do the odd video now and then, you know, it's just for memory's sake, for the uh, for my own personal thing. Like, So I got back into exploring. Now, I've been exploring, wow. I think I started 2006, something like that. I started out, I think my very, very first one, Denby Asylum, it was, I remember it well. Denby Asylum, I might have some footage somewhere. But, yeah, and then the first place in Liverpool I started to, to explore was around Stanley Docks. There was a mass of devilation around there. You've got the grain silo, north south warehouse, tobacco warehouse, um, all the docks, even where Bramley Mall is now, New Everton Stadium. And I was quite active on the forums for a while, and then I just stopped, I sold all my stuff. Because back then I was only into photography, never really done any video. Uh, video was a bonus, to be honest with you. Um, I sold all my stuff, and as I say, it was only around about 2020. When I sort of started getting the bug back and I decided to do YouTube. Now, that was beautiful. So, I've got two channels. I started two channels at the same time. Uh, one is retro gaming, uh, tech driven, and stuff like that. Uh, the main channel is this one, G2E Media, but I put more time into this one than I do the other one. The other one's just a little sort of like, I'm in the house and I'll just get something and fixing things and all that, like so, yeah. So this video today is just basically to say thank you very much to all the people who have subscribed from the first person to the last person and all the people as well who have donated over the last... Uh, a couple of years whenever Seth buy me a coffee up some people have been really generous over the years and I do thank you individually on the website and also do a little thing shout out on the videos as well but all the money does go back into the channel this week I might get out I don't know um, 
what I'm doing at the moment, I'm constructing a catio for me cats. I'm going, mmm, vanilla milkshake, cheeky. Yeah, constructing um, a catio for the cats. So I'm taking a couple of days off to build it and construct it, and I have no plan. I'm just making up as I go along. So yeah. And I just need a little bit of a break because uh, the last couple ones have been really hard. I mean, that M62 drain one was a tough one, but I knew what to expect. Um, but, you know, it's part of the fun. There's a lot more stuff coming, like a lot more stuff. I just wish I had more time to do it because, you know, the job that I do, I'm out and about quite a lot and I get to see quite a lot of places in Liverpool that I don't normally go down. And I came up one road the other day and basically I'd recovered the bus and I decided to turn up this road and as I hit the traffic I just sat there and I just glanced across and I thought I just got that feeling that there was you know it looked a bit thing you know. So I've gone home and I've googled it and wow, unbelievable. It's things that it's just history just still right in front of you and you just don't know that's there. So some of these I've got planned now. The, they do require a little bit of planning. They're not just walk in and you know film away and get off. These are these are really really good and um, yeah I can't wait to get them done. But this week I don't think I'll be out. Um, and if I do, it'll probably be a little one onwards and upwards for the channel. Um, as of well yeah as of last night I'd say I was on nine. 1990 I think when I went to bed Adam did say stay up and do a live but I just couldn't keep my eyes open so I've woke up this morning to it's about 10,010 I think so it's well over 10,000 so I've got like 20 or 30 subscribers just overnight and I was just looking through my hard drive the other day on some old photographs as well exploring photographs and um, I remember the Liverpool Echo doing a couple of articles that's when I sort of bothered with the Echo at the time and he'd done three or four articles on my previous escapades around Liverpool. And, and I found this little clip, I'll try and put it in now, of uh, Tony Snell, I think it was, from Radio Merseyside, talking about me on the breakfast show. And, um, yeah, asked me to get in touch and, and all that. So, yeah, that was... That was about 10 years ago, I think. Going underground. So this is an amateur photographer, George Toohey, who at the weekends spends his time going into disused buildings or underground, getting into um, riverbeds. And there is a just really eerie, amazing photos of Merseyside, a part of which I think very few of us will have seen any of. Now, um, I was showing these to you later and you've said you've seen the um, war bunkers and control headquarters under the Cunards. Yeah, that's building. fabulous, yeah. Yeah, so that looks good. But some of these underground rivers, so have you heard of the Hotties? Underground River near St. 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 Helens? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so there's actually, so this gets the warm water put in because Pilkington's glass. And it's been reported that there's even tropical fish swim there. I don't know whether that's true. Oh, it's true, yeah. So yeah, um, I'm not going to bore you with a, a big sort of lengthy video, but basically it was just I was going to go live, but you know I just thought I'll sit down, do a video off the cuff, and it was just basically to say yeah, you know thank you very much for support and everything over the years. The channel's been going for four years now, and I'm just going to continue with this channel and the other channel for as long as possible because obviously, you know. We're not getting any younger, and things that I done ten years ago, I wouldn't even dream of doing now. Like pff, climbing scaffolding at like two o'clock in the morning, in Liverpool City Centre, just to access a roof, just to chill there for a bit, take some photographs, and bugger off. Um, I probably would do that now, but uh, it depends if it was like if it was something like the live buildings. Yeah, game on. But if it was just like an. Uh, a normal building but yeah you know whatever so i've got i say i've got quite a few plans um i've got stuff planned that I've, well I've, I've got stuff that's being filmed and i'm yet to finish and if you're watching this adam yeah you know exactly what i'm all about a couple of videos there which should have been done and dusted by now but the thing with this as well is if i plan something and i go right i'll do that next 
it'll be a case of something else will just come up and I'll go, let's go and have a look at that. And then something else will happen. And then someone in work will go, have you seen this? Do you know about this? And what I had planned in the, in the beginning has just been sort of like, you know, left. But I do need to get these two done because, uh, yeah, they're very, very good videos, I'd say. But I always try to do new things on this channel, come up with new ideas, fresh little approach. And I know not every video I post is going to be good. Um, I just try and sort of keep the balance of interest and all that. So, yeah. So anyway, um, I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to get back to building my catio. And uh, on that note, thank you very much yet again. And I'll catch you in the next adventure.